we are attempting to well yeah attempting to clone this old school drive to this drive here um, a bunch of thanks to a bunch of people that are on YouTube that have done this I've done this only one other time years ago um, is, oh here we go this drive is another drive that came from a Xbox that I had like seven years ago um, this drive is completely fucked so yeah at first we had some pretty rough time of uh, getting this to work because of the the way that I attempted to do it at first but then thanks to a person that um still had the video up from 12 years ago um I can't really remember the name or I would give a shout out but I will actually look at that now on the desktop while we still wait for the cloning process and then we're using a old Dell Pentium 4 Octoplex GX260 I love that I used to love this old machine it's a very good computer got that and a bunch of other stuff and this little HP for ten dollars you know uh, so now there's the fire uh, let's see so it's not this person but we'll go to here um, history and it was this one right here uh, his name is Knox so shout out to Knox you know um he definitely um yeah his techniques you know were amazing um I'm definitely you know going to I'm definitely going to get another one of these and show you the exact way I've done it I know there's a ton of videos online that show you how to do it, but I'm going to <clears throat> show you how to do it with another one, like when I get the other one, and show you the method that I did. I definitely used the HD Maker. Um, I definitely will have the files in the description eventually once I get the second one, and I will definitely show people how to do it if anyone is interested in doing this um, to a original Xbox because you know original Xbox you know has a lot of different capabilities that you can you know play a whole bunch of homebrew you can get all the original games for the console um, so yeah it, it definitely if this is something you like to do you know um, yeah, uh, it really is pretty fun. The only other thing about this console is this light here doesn't show green anymore. Even before I attempted all this at all, you know, I think something is dead, like the green light that goes green is completely dead, but... I'm thinking about getting a new one of those as well. And just, you know, power button, eject button, uh, board for it. But other than that, I mean, 
you can hear the ticking in it. And then there is the computer that's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Old school Pentium 4. Probably from 2002 or 3. That machine has 2 gigs of RAM. I might even want to attempt to try to get mess around with an older operating system. Uh, Windows Whistler. I've seen that online. Um, I guess that's a hybrid of Windows XP and 2000 combined. It looks like Windows Millennium. It's pretty dope actually. But just to see if it will work on this old machine is always fun to mess around with. So, that's this. And hopefully the cloning process goes well. We're using a ST3813A. Um, seven years ago, I think, when I did it, I think I used the ST3400A. Well, 13A, 40 gig model of disk of of uh, Seagate. So I, I I mean, the last time, like a couple hours ago when I did it, I definitely had some issues of because I in this Xbox HD maker, I used two to rebuild it. I've done it like that, say, a while ago, and it worked. But you would still get sometimes when you power on the system, you would get please contact Microsoft or you know whatever it tells you and the weird thing about this system as well is another thing that I want to show you about on the TV over there you don't get error 12 not at all so you don't get error 12 on the screen so I mean this is this Xbox is a day one launch edition um, because it was made in November, November 2nd, 2001, and Microsoft released the console to the public in the 15th of November of 2001. So, I mean, I don't know if it's because the kernel is so old, 3944, it's very weird that you don't get error 12 in that corner like a lot of other people show online so um yeah we will end it here and thank you for all the people that made the necessary files and uh the um necessary uh tutorials of how to do this um i i done it only one other time back in the day we had to rewatch the tutorials and it was like clockwork. But thank you guys. You guys are 100%.